The YouTuber copy and paste paradox. Ever heard of it? Probably not because I just coined it. Well, you probably know that a lot of YouTube content is very unoriginal. Whether it be kid YouTubers milking trends until they're dead, or meme YouTubers doing the same fing joke a thousand fing times, or it could even be Mr. Beast recreating Squid Game. All art comes from inspiration from other art. And it's perfectly fine to get inspired by someone and then do something similar. Because over time, they will add their own aspects and develop their own style of art. But where this becomes a problem is when it becomes less inspiration and more thievery. There are plenty of YouTubers who copy other YouTubers without giving them credit, without even adding their own aspects to it, and sometimes literally copying the entire script word for word. The biggest victim of content thievery on YouTube is Mr. Beast. There are literally channels all over the world dedicated to just shittily ripping off Mr. Beast's content in their own language. YouTubers such as The Asher Show have made tons of videos giving plenty of examples of this behavior. And now even he is getting his videos stolen about videos being stolen. And this is where things become more complicated. Now, what is a paradox and why do I call it that? Well, a paradox is a never-ending cycle, or it can also be described as something that contradicts itself. I call this YouTube content thievery a paradox because it starts out with an original video, then someone steals the video, and then someone like The Asher Show makes a video about these people that are stealing content, and now someone takes his video about people who take videos. And now I'm here making a video about a video about a video stolen about stolen videos. I think. So a few months ago, The Asher Show posted a video about how the T-Channel Anna Oop had stolen his content multiple times. And the thumbnail of this video just cracks me up. <laughs> like if this thumbnail perfectly describes the cycle or paradox that I'm referring to. But a lot of times the videos that were being copied were about people who copy content. It just seems like so contradictory. This video shows how money and content farms can get in the way of actual creativity. It's really unfortunate that these people take and take for the sake of money. It's understandable, but at the very least, credit who you're taking inspiration or copying from. It's not very hard. As I mentioned earlier, Mr. Beast is a huge victim of this. There are literally channels all over the world that take his video's concept, thumbnail, and then basically just shittily recreate it in their own language because those people don't know Mr. B and Mr. Beast knows how to reach people so them just taking his content and creating it for people who don't know who he is is just going to give them views because it just makes sense that it would and they're basically bringing Mr. Beast content to them but if you're a Mr. Beast stan like I am wait hold on if you're a Mr. Beast stan like I am you would know that Mr. Beast recently started to dub his content on his main channel in other languages and once Mr. Beast reaches those audiences that these people previously were dominating in they're gonna be screwed yay and Mr. Beast is inevitably going to completely obliterate their content because Mr. Beast's videos are just objectively better videos. And he obviously knows what he's doing more than these people do. And oh my god, he is going to grow so much. He's already grown so much, 150 million subscribers. Over the next few years, he's gonna like triple that at least, dude. Like going to literally, he's been going like this. He's gonna go like this. Gonna be wild. Anyways, sorry for nerding out on you guys. This type of content thievery is super common on YouTube. And hell, even I've had my content stolen. I'm not even a big YouTuber. <laughs> At least not yet. You should change that by clicking that freaking subscribe button. I almost said fuck. A few months ago, a kid who I will not name because I don't want to give him a shout out. Plus, I don't want people hating on him. This kid stole two of my videos. Now, I wouldn't really care if he just took the thumbnail idea or the video idea. I would be like, oh, that's cool. He's taking inspiration from his favorite YouTuber hypes. I mean, I understand that guy is so cool and hot and tall and muscular and funny. So I understand. But he didn't just take the thumbnails. He didn't just take the concept. He took the entire fucking video word for word he basically copied the entire script but made it like worse because the delivery was worse and the overall editing and everything was just it just made a worse version of my videos my youtube channel is currently at about 642 subscribers mr beast is currently at 124 million subscribers my youtube channel is currently at about 385 subscribers and mr beast is at 125 million subscribers the reason that i'm telling you all these things is because i think that all of these numbers are going to change drastically over the next year the reason i'm telling you all these things is that i think I think these numbers are going to change drastically over the next year. This year, I started this YouTube channel. It's been a lot of fun. I've been really trying to be creative and have fun with it, and I've learned a lot. I think this next year is going to be a really good year, not only for me, but just generally in the world. This year, I started this YouTube channel. It's been a lot of fun trying to, like, be creative and make content. 
And I think this next year is just going to be like a really good year. Not just for me, but in general. And you might think, oh, okay, so he made a worse version of your videos. Then he probably just didn't get any views. No, he actually doubled my views. Don't ask me how. I don't fucking know. Absolute bull crud okay and that pisses me off because obviously i'm making original content spending time making original content and then some kid just goes oh okay i'm gonna steal that and then literally double your views now the video that i'm referencing was a end of the year prediction video similar to a youtuber named ben of the week who i took a lot of inspiration from but i made the concept my own and that's what this kid doesn't understand sure he did double my views but i'd be willing to bet that i got so much more out of the video than he did sure he got 900 plus views and i got 421 views i'm pretty sure i also from the making of this video developed more experience editing writing performing videos while this kid all he learned from copying my video Video is copy equal views do more not good okay not good he's obviously prioritizing metrics and numbers over actually creatively expressing himself it's been a lot of fun trying to like be creative and make content he seems pretty young so i don't want to say he's a bad dude or he has got no potential he's, he's got some potential if he were to make his own original content at such a young age i do actually think that he could go somewhere on youtube also don't ask me how but this kid somehow has 2.4 thousand subscribers i have 1.2 thousand he has literally doubled my sub count what the hell please for the love of god hit the subscribe button please i need this i need to pass this absolute thief buffoon child thank you I do actually have hope that the next generation of content creators are going to bring back the original content that we all so desperately want to see. YouTubers such as Mac and Colt, Colt Kirwin, among others, have made some really, really impactful and original videos. And the performance of these videos show that there is totally an audience for this type of content. Mac's video about living his life for 100 hours controlled by AI was genuinely like the best YouTube video that I've ever seen. And while the concept is not the most original thing, the format and editing and storytelling is absolutely phenomenal. It literally felt like a movie, but it still had the YouTube qualities that I love so much. Like it feels personal and real, but also so professional and good. These new wave YouTubers have been creating content that is better than anything else on the platform. And with the rise of things like AI, I really see people becoming way less interested in the highly optimized and robotic feeling content and becoming more interested in getting a more personal relationship and being told an actual impactful story. I really think this new generation might bring YouTube back to its roots while still holding on to the amazing qualities that it's developed. And I, for one, am incredibly excited.